All right. Well, I got the Hepco and Becker legacy bags here. And let me open up the, the bag and the plastic and see what they look like. You know, in all the years I've had motorcycles, I've never, I've never had a, a bike with saddlebags. And maybe it's just my age, but the practicality of it just seems like a good idea. They look really nice. And the leather, leather smells good. They have a real nice lining on the inside. You can see that. Really nice. Got the legacy little leather uh, identifier there on the inside of the flap. Oh, here's the lock. The key for the lock. Yeah, they're just, they're just really nice. The back is hard leather. And here you can see where it mounts in the SIBO kit. Here's the buckles for a strap. And I, was, I was thinking they came with a strap. Let me see if I can. Maybe not. I was thinking they came with like a shoulder strap. But I guess not. Maybe that's something you could get extra. Man, they smell good. I can smell that leather. I'm going to get some uh, packing materials, some foam, and I'm going to put them inside to kind of fill them up so they, I can see what they look like if they were full. All right, I put some packing material in there to kind of fill them out. You can see how they look, and they're just, just really nice. So I'm really pleased with these. They just look really sharp. Well, I'm going to take the other one that's in the bag. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some packing material in it to kind of fill it out. Then I'm going to put them on the bike. I can get a look at what the bags are like on the bike. And they look pretty darn nice. I think the the khaki version would look sharp too. You know, I think the view from the back with the leather I didn't zip the zipper up. It just looks nice. It looks looks like quality.
Now to secure the bags, remove the bag. You can see on the bottom here. Maybe you can't. see if the keys interchange they do now I don't know if these keys are a set they do have a number where these keys are number 002 so it is a match set you don't have to say I'm pretty happy with them I think they look really nice And I got the shorter bags, so they're a little more sporty. You can see some of the shock spring, and you can see the exhaust, you can see the wheel, but it hides the wheel gap. You know how these modern bikes have huge gaps between the top of the tire and the fender, and these bags hide that gap. And I, you know, being a hot rodder, you know, my cars, my cars all have tight wheel gaps. And I just think that looks better. And so these bags cover up that gap. And I think they're just the right size. They're not too big, but they're big enough where you, know, you could actually put something in them. So, you know, again... I'm just really pleased with them. So, as always, thanks for watching. And I guess I have one, you know, major part left to install, and that would be the engine guards. I have those on order, but according to the AF1 website, it's looking like late October for those to come in, so it's going to be a while. But uh, the bike's really shaping up, and I think all of us like to make these bikes our own, and, and mine's getting there. I'm getting close. So once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you come back and join me again.